Oh God, we just say thank you, Father God, for this day. Almighty God. Yes, Lord God, I come to give you praise, glory, and honor. I want to just welcome every one of you that are on this broadcast on tonight. Uh, we are in the middle of, well, the storm has passed us, and I give glory and honor to God right now for that. I uh, trust that all is well because it's pitch black right now, and our electricity has been off since 4 p.m., and it is right now 12.48, um, something like that. And so I just want to uh, be steadfast on our fast and be um, continue to push forward. I know that you all are having a meeting over there with Mr. Coffee. What is so good about that is having it in place so that we will not miss a beat. I believe that is very important. I shared with you all this morning about how God said I will put Moses' spirit on some of you or some of the people that was underneath him so that they can carry the work of the ministry. And so I believe that this is prophetic, what we are going through in this ministry. God is raising you up and he is going to pull people out of the back, pull them in the front and use them because they are his and he's anointed them for such a time as this. So for those of you that will hear the clarion call, thank you. And uh, I trust that God is going to do the very same thing for us as well. So right now I'm in the dark, but I do have my iPad charged up and um, I can't come on Clubhouse for some reason through the data on my phone. That goes to show you something ain't right. But I want to be steadfast and do this recording. And I'm in actually on my hands and knees right now with my prayer shawl and in candle lights. In Jesus name, I'm going to anoint myself. I um actually had slept really good it um because you all know I do all of this and I stay up and so I actually stayed up as long as I possibly could but when it was time for me to go to sleep the Lord allowed me to put he put me in a a nice sleep where I was able to sleep and I knew that because we had pre-prayed that all was well. I prayed before we I fell asleep, but I, I just couldn't stay awake because it was my time to get the rest that I needed. So we thank God for that. And I am actually exhausted. My throat is hurting. But nevertheless, we are here and we are here to lift up his name. So if you are on this broadcast, please be in agreement with me as I am praying. And this will be the prayer for the day that I was not on live with you all, okay? And therefore, we won't be missing a beat at all in Jesus' name. Father God in heaven, Lord, we just say thank you right now. Oh God, I just say, I give you praise. We give you praise. We come together in agreement in this time of fasting and praying. Lord God, we just say thank you for the word that you have been feeding us with the power of your word off the pages of the Bible, God clear and with simplicity being made understood to us by the way, by way of the spirit of God. But God, we thank you most importantly that you have called us to a place of submission. Father God, we ask that on tonight as we are committing ourselves it's easy to do something, but it's even harder to commit to doing something and something that is going to cost you something. So we come, oh God, to give you our commitment, oh Lord. First of all, we want to say thank you, Jesus, for the sacrifice that you have made for us. 
And Lord, we thank you for our names being written on the Lamb's Book of Life. Lord Jesus, we thank you for our relationship that we are able to have with the Father because of you. And we thank you, Lord God, for the power of the Holy Spirit. We lift your name up, God. We lift up the name of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, on this on this day. This is a brand new day. We are in it. First of all, I want to say thank you, Lord God, that all is well. Lord God, I thank you, God, that there is a calmness that is all around. And Father God, I thank you, God, though we are in darkness, Father God, in this from this storm, I just still say thank you, God, for the peace that is in the land. And Lord, I know that the land needs a rest and it does need peace as though the same as on the days of Sabbath or the year of Sabbath when the earth needed peace. God, I say thank you, Father God, for protecting me in this storm, giving me peace on the inside. And Lord, also, I just say thank you for others, Lord God, that your grace kept us in the midst of this. Father God, I ask that you would just allow us to give a praise offering unto you, a thank you offering. Lord God, let us not just skip past, Lord God, the fact that we have made it through. Lord God, I pray it's no light thing, oh God, because we know the intentions of the enemy is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Father God, if we are still here, it's because you did not allow the enemy to triumph over us. And we say thank you, Father God, and we say thank you for that. Lord God, I just give you the praise on tonight or this day, Lord Jesus. I give you the praise, Father God, for this day of this fast, oh God. I give you the praise because you alone are worthy, oh God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Father. Lord God, I give you the praise because, yes, you alone are worthy to be praised, oh God. Lord God, we lift up your name over ourselves, oh God. Lord God, we lift up your name over our homes on today. We lift up your name in the darkness of the night, oh God. We lift up your name because of who you are, because of how great the name is. There is no name above the name of Jesus. And so for that, we say, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord God. Oh God, thank you for the name of Jesus. Thank you for your name, Lord Jesus. You are worthy to be praised, oh God. Yes, Lord, you are worthy to be praised, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to your name, Lord Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, be Lord of all in this place. Be Lord of all above the earth and above the heavens. You are Lord. Lord, be in control tonight. Be in control on today, Lord. You have your way in this place, O oh Lord. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, we just yield ourselves to you. Hallelujah. No matter what the circumstances may be, O oh God, no matter how the weather is, no matter how hot it is without AC, God, we just say thank you. Holy Spirit, we ask that you would help us to supersede the natural. Oh, you are the spirit and we can serve you and worship the Lord, Lord God, and overcome all adversities, overcome all of the struggles of what we're going through. Oh God, we are able to pray and press through even if we're hot, even if we're tired. Oh God, but we just want to say we want, we yield, I yield myself to you as your servant. Oh God, Lord God, I yield my vessels to you as a servant. Oh God, Father God, I command and everything that is around me to yield to the name of Jesus, to subject, be subject to the name of Jesus. Everything be silent. Everything be humbled at the name of Jesus. Everything has to bow. Every thought, every condition, everything that is currently trying to go on, I come against it and I yield to the power of you, Holy Spirit, God. Hallelujah. Right now, 
I yield to you, Lord. I, I yield to you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Have your way in this place on tonight. Have your way in the lives of us, your people, Father God. Lord, we are here to touch and agree in this time of fasting. God, we're here to decrease, oh God. Help us, Lord Jesus, to decrease, oh God. we here, God, to humble ourselves before your throne, Father God, letting you know that we have need of you in this hour. Hour. Yes, Lord God, we are your people, oh God, and we are the sheep of your pasture. We are here crying out to you, Abba Father. We are here, oh God, in this land, so journeying through this land, oh God, with the help of the Spirit of God. But we just want it to be known, Father God, that there is a remnant that is calling out upon you. We just want it to be known, oh God, that there is a remnant that calls out on you day and night without ceasing, oh God. And so, Lord God, we ask that you would just have mercy on us tonight. Have mercy on us, this nation, oh God. Have mercy on us, Lord God, your people, Father God. Hallelujah, Jesus. We need you right now, oh God. We need you in this hour, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we need you right now, oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. We want more of you, oh God. We ask you to pour out your spirit, oh God, even the more. We ask that you will pour out your anointing, oh God, even more, oh God. Cover us in you and in your blood, oh God. Purge us today, oh God. Wash us and cleanse us, oh God. Help us to be strong in you, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we are pushing forward on this time of fasting. Lord God, we ask that you will keep us focused and disciplined, Father God, that you will help us, oh God, as we look to you. Father God, we ask that you will give us grace to fast, oh God. Lord God, we know that it's not always easy to fast, oh God. Lord God, it's not always easy, especially in these days that we are living in, there is so much distraction, oh God. There is so much things that is pulling us out of the will of God. But Lord, I ask that you will help us to be uh, the defeat all of the plans of the enemy. I pray that you will help us to overcome all of the plans of the enemy, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Father God. Lord, we just want to spend the time to say thank you, Lord. Hallelujah for protecting us, oh God. Lord, we thank you for, Lord God, that we are kept in this hour. Lord God, there is so much danger. Lord God, there is so much danger, oh Oh God, that we are overcoming through this time. Lord God, throughout these years that have been very dangerous, trying times, oh God. Lord God, very much danger on every side, oh God. And so I just call out upon you on tonight and we just say thank you, Lord. Thank you for your blessings, oh God. Thank you, Lord God, for your steadfast love, oh God. Thank you, Lord God, for all that you have done and all that you are doing even right now, oh God. Thank you for our daily bread, oh God. Thank you, Lord God, for the activities of our limbs, oh God. Thank you, Lord God, for watching over us in the midnight hour, oh God. Thank you, God, that the blessings did not land on us. The, the, the uh, curses did not land. The curses did not hinder us, oh God. The cur curses of the enemy um, did not land on us, oh God. It did not keep us from harm, Father God. Oh, Lord, Lord, I just ask that you would just have your way. Sata. 
Hallelujah, Lord. Lord, I just call out upon you right now for the cars. In the name of Jesus. Lord God, I just pray for the vehicles, oh God. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray for the vehicles and accidents, premature accidents in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray and cover us, God, all, all of our vehicles, the, the vehicles of our children. Father God, I cover the vehicles of us, your people. Father God, I intercept the plan of the enemy to bring about accidents, car accidents. Lord God, I don't know what you're, what this is about, but I just yield myself to you, Lord God, to pray and intercept, Lord God, the plans of the enemy to try, Lord God, to bring about untimely accidents, car accidents in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I ask that you will overturn every plan that the enemy has in store for your people. Father God, I cancel out the assignment of accidents, car accidents in the name of Jesus. Lord, I come against it right now. Come on, let's let's come against this thing. In the name of Jesus, we bind the hand of the enemy. We bind the work of the enemy. Every plan that the enemy has against our vehicles, every assignment that he has planned against our vehicles, our children, oh God, we cancel them out right now by the power of the blood of Jesus. We come against you, Satan. The Lord rebukes you. Every accident, every accident that the enemy is launching, every accident in this midnight hour that the enemy is launching, everything that the enemy has planned for our vehicles, we rebuke it right now. We rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. All of the imps, all of your witches, and all of your warlocks that is working evil, speaking accidents over God's people. God, we come against it. Lord God, we take up the mantle of prayer and we take authority over everything that is being launched, everything that is coming forth, oh God, everything that the enemy would try to make come forth, oh God. We nullify it and we block it right now. We decree that there will not be any untimely deaths. We decree uh, and come against all accidents, oh God. All uncommon and untimely accidents that is governed and sent by Satan and his warlocks and his his wicked witches and the evil ones, oh God. We take authority over them now. We take authority over every hex and vex and spell. Father God, we cancel out those assignments in the name of Jesus, God. Oh God, we plead your blood right now over our vehicles. We plead to loose the blood of Jesus, oh God, over us, your people. We loose the blood. We touch and agree, oh God, in faith, oh God, and cancel out the assignment and the plans of the enemy. We cancel out the, si uh, the, the assignment of the enemy. Lord God, even now, as I'm speaking, God, every word that is being released out of the mouth, it's of, a mouth of your uh, the agents of the enemy, Right now, we come against it. We come against every word curse. We come against every spell. God, we come against every assignment. Lord, we are here in this hour to say no to the plans of the enemy. God, we are here in this hour to say no, God, to their manipulative plans in this hour. Father God, we cancel out the assignment of car accidents in the name of Jesus. We cancel out the assignment 
of car accidents for our children, for ourselves, oh God, for those that hear this vo my voice, oh God, for the people of God that is in the body of Christ, oh God. Keep us, oh God. Protect us from other vehicles, oh God. Protect us from vandalism, oh God. Protect us, from, Father God, from failure, car failure, oh God. Lord God, equipment failure in the vehicles, oh God. We pray that you will protect us against anything that can be shut off, oh God. Lord God, from a remote place, oh God, in our vehicles while we are driving, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. I pray in your heavenly language. Holy Spirit, pray through us concerning car accidents. Holy Spirit, pray through us for the remnant of God's people concerning car accidents, oh God. Lord, we ask that you will take the wheel, oh God. And let your angels be round about us, oh God. Let your angels be round about us where we go and where we come, oh God. Lord, I ask that you would take the wheel, oh God. I ask that the angelic assistants will guide our cars, oh God. Our cars, our children cars, oh God. Protect them, oh God, on the highways, oh God. Protect them, Lord God, from all hurt and all harm, oh God, and all danger. Lord, we pray against untimely deaths, oh God. Lord, we pray against untimely deaths in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God, we pray against untimely deaths, oh God. And accidents in Jesus' name. We intercept it by the power of the name of Jesus. We intercept it by the power and in the name of Jesus, the name above every name. God, we loose the blood of Jesus round about our vehicles. We loose the blood of Jesus upon our vehicles to be saturating our vehicles. Oh God, each and every one of us, oh God. Let the presence of God be with us in our cars, oh God. Let the angelic assistance be with us us when we are in our vehicles, O oh Lord. Let the glory of the Spirit of God be loosed before we even get in our vehicles, O oh God. We cover our children in their vehicles right now. Hallelujah, God. We lift them up before you right now, oh God. God, we come to pre-pray concerning accidents in Jesus' name. We pray for every person that we know, oh God, for our family members, oh God, for our parents, oh God, for our aunts and uncles, oh God, for those that is a part of this ministry. We cover them now. We cover their children. We cover their marriages their husbands as they go and come. Father God, as they travel all over the land, oh God, those that are ministers, oh God, those that are traveling, oh God, Lord, we pray for your protection against accidents in the name of Jesus, oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Handa bashe ke tana na masi anda la 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 basata. Handa la 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 basi anda la 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 basata. Handa la di eso kota na masi anda la 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 basata. Handa la di eso kota. We rebuke everything that the devil is planning. We rebuke everything that the devil is planning. In the name of Jesus, it will not work. In the name of Jesus, we will be able to overcome everything that the enemy enemy has planned against your people or the plan that is in this world, this nation. God, whatever this is, oh God, we take authority over it, oh God. We decree, God, your word, oh God. We decree, oh God, that you have, uh, have our backs, oh God, that you have us in a place of Goshen and protection. God, we declare Psalms 91 over ourselves, oh God. Handa bashata leketana 
Ramasata, as we recite and, and declare the words of the Lord. Lord, I pray that your angelic assistance is loose round about us. Loose the fire of God right now around our vehicles, oh God. Cover us, oh God. Saturate us, oh God, and our vehicles, oh God, from accidents, from harm, oh God. Have your way, O oh God. Have your way on tonight. Have your way in this fast, O oh God. Have your way, O oh God, in this hour, Lord Jesus. Move by your power, Lord. Move by your power, the blood, the cross, O oh God. We're calling out on the power of the cross, the power of the resurrection. We call out upon the name of Jesus in the midnight hour. We're calling out upon you for your mighty Holy Ghost fire. Lord, to move in our midst, O God. Move in our midst, O Lord. Move in our midst, O Lord. As we touch and agree, Lord God, we are calling out upon you, Lord. Oh, Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness, oh, Lord. Lord, we thank you for your steadfast love, oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, you have been faithful. Hallelujah, Lord. We have a God that is good all the time, oh, Lord Jesus. We have a God that is merciful. We have a Lord God that is always on time, oh, Lord. And for that, we say thank you, Lord. We say thank you for your goodness. We say thank you for your faithfulness, oh, God. We say thank you for your love, oh, God. Lord, we thank you, God, that we could pre-pray, oh God. We thank you because of the name of Jesus that we can intercept the plans of the enemy. And so we say no to accidents in Jesus' name. We say no, the blood of Jesus is against those words. We cast down every word that you speak in uh, against God's people. We cast down every enchantment and we overturn the altars of Baal. We overturn the altars of Baal. We overturn your altars against God's people. Everything that the enemy meant for harm, we declare the words of the Lord that it will turn in our favor, oh God. We decree the words of the Lord is coming forth in this hour. We decree the wills of God concerning our lives is coming forth, not the plan, not the lies, not the evil spoken words of the devil, but the words of God, the word of God is coming forth for our lives in the name of Jesus, oh God. Lord, we bless your name on tonight. Lord, we bless your name on tonight. Lord, we say thank you, Lord, in this hour. We say thank you, Lord God, for your goodness, oh God. We say thank you, Lord God, for your love and your kindness, oh Lord. Yes, Lord, you are better than us than we've been to ourselves. Oh, Jesus, have your way, Lord. Have thine own way, oh God, in this hour. Lord, we surrender to you in this hour of us fasting. Help us, Lord Jesus, as we draw close to you. Lord, we say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, God, for your goodness, oh Lord. God, we ask that you would just come in a midst of us, oh God, and show forth yourself. Lord God, concentrate yourself in the midst of us, oh God. Help us to see you in the pages of your word, oh God. Help us to have the fear and the admonition of God in our hearts, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord God, hallelujah, Father. Lord God, you told me in the name of Jesus, God, that there is something that is being released right now in the earth, oh God, through this storm. It wasn't about the storm. It was about releasing, Father God, what they want to release. And it was in the general area of Louisiana 
and Texas, where the two monkeypox statues have been erected, oh God. So in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we come against, oh God, the, the idea of what they are doing. We come against, oh God, what they have planned in, in, in secret chambers, oh Lord. We come, uh, we just come against that assignment, oh God, of whatever they wanted to release in the air. Lord God, whatever they released in the air, oh God, whatever their plans were to release in the storm, in the air, the air that was blowing in the storm, oh God, it was a plan to release that monkey pox and the things that they want to release in these areas that they say the storm will be hitting in. Those are the two areas that those statues have been raised as a sign where they are to release this, this thing. But God, we say no to it, oh God. Lord God, we are covering us, your people, God, from this disease and all other diseases that they are releasing in this earth, oh God. Lord, we say no to monkeypox in Jesus' name. God, we ask that you would let your blood, the blood of Jesus, speak for us, oh God. Lord God, we thank you, God. It is the blood that is our, our, our banner. It is that blood-stained banner that covers us. We are holding up the blood stained banner. This is our salvation. Yes, it's the blood of Jesus. This is what covers us and our homes, oh God. Yes, Lord God. So no weapon that they are forming, no plan that they are plotting, oh God, will not prosper against us, oh Lord. Lord Jesus, you have a track record of keeping your people. Lord Jesus, you have a track record of protecting your people. And so we are your people people. We are your people and we are so proud of the fact that we belong to you, Father God. You said we should not be ashamed and God, we will not be ashamed of you before man because if we are, you will be ashamed of us before our Father, oh God. And so we just lift up the bloodstained banner. I know the devil would laugh. People would laugh at a bloodstained banner, but the blood of Jesus is our defense, oh Lord. The blood of Jesus is what is going to keep us and our families, oh God. Hallelujah, Father God. And so we appropriate the blood. We put a demand on the word of God right now. Lord, loose forth your angels to war on our behalf, oh God. Lord God, wherever this disease is settled on, God, we can't trust in medicine. We can't and won't trust in our horses and chariots. God, we are trusting that you will protect us, oh God, that you will protect our children. Children, oh God, and that not one that is trusting in you, that we will not, Lord God, be taken out by the hands of man unless it is in your will, God. And we know that it is not in your will that we should go by the plans of these men that are doing deceptive things. Hallelujah, Father. And so, God, we are calling out upon you, Lord God, that whatever they have unleashed in this hour, God, we pray against it in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we cancel it out in the name of Jesus. Father God, we put that hedge of protection around our children in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, we put the hedge of protection and the blood of Jesus upon the doorpost of their homes, oh God, upon the doorpost of our grandchildren, oh God, wherever they are, oh God, wherever the believer is, oh God, we loose the blood of Jesus to be where they are, oh God, to saturate them, Lord God, and their presence, oh God, the blood of Jesus to touch every surface that they touch. Father, I even and ask that you will apply the blood as we apply it and release it over our heads and the soles of our feet and over every fabric of our soul, oh God, that as we come and go, Father God, that the enemy will not be able to trace us, oh God. Lord, I pray that you will hide us under the shadow of the Almighty. Oh God, we thank you right now, oh Lord. God, we say thank you, Lord God. Handabashata. Lord, if there is any sick that is among us, oh God, 
Lord, I ask that as they anoint themselves, oh God, that in the name of Jesus, that as they anoint themselves, Father God, and we pray the prayer of faith that you will raise them up in this hour. God, I ask that as they anoint themselves and we pray, God, the words of God, the prayers that is from the most high God, from our lips that comes forth from your throne, Father God, out of the spirit. Lord, I pray that you would raise them up. We decree over their bodies that they are healed by your stripe. We speak life over them right now. We call out upon you, Father God, that you would touch them, Father God, that the virtue that is healing, that comes forth from your throne, from your hand, from your nail scarred hands, that it will be released, oh God, into them right now. Quicken them by faith, oh God, that they may trust you for their healing, Father God. And we just cover them now. Father God, we pray for each and every every person that is on this broadcast. Father God, wherever they are believing you for, oh God, oh God, in this time, Lord God, I ask that you will provide their needs according to your riches and glory, Father. God, I ask that you will make a way, oh God, for them out of no way, oh God. Lord God, whatever it is that they are needing you for, Father God, I pray that as they put their want to represent their need, as they put their want to represent their loved one, Oh God, that they're standing in a gap for Father God, as they put their one on the screen, oh God, Lord, we touch and agree with them, God, that you are moving right now upon those ones, those ones that is on the screen, the ones that is in their hearts, oh God, the ones that they are saying yes to you, Lord God, that I need you to work it out for me, oh God, I need you to come through for me, God, Lord, I pray for your faithfulness, oh God, Lord, I pray, God, that you will be faithful faithful, Lord God, to bring it to pass, oh God, as we trust in you, Lord God, as we trust in you, oh God, oh God, no matter how long it takes, no matter how you choose to do it, God, we will be satisfied. Lord, I pray, Lord God, that you will give us a heart to be satisfied with what you are doing in our lives. Oh God, I ask that you would not allow us to be in a place of murmuring and complaining, oh God, but God, that you will cause us to have a a heart that truly loves you and God is satisfied and is yielded to whatever it is that you are allowing. Father God, there are things that we don't understand, but God, we yield to the fact that you know what is best, oh God, even though it may hurt, even though it may be something that we don't like, oh God, I pray God that we are able to yield to you, Lord. I ask that even as we read the story about the children of Israel in the book of Leviticus, oh God, Lord, I ask that you would take away any of the desires that is still from the world, oh God, any desire that still want us to have a heart that is mixed up. God still have part of our love for the world and the things that is in this world. Oh God, we confess it before you, God, for any mixture and any compromise, oh God. Take out that mixture, oh God. Take out the heart of compromise, oh Lord. Give us a heart of focusing and a love for you like never before, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we surrender that part of our lives. Any area, God, that the enemy can use or any area that the flesh, oh God, is still there. God, a heart that is wayward. Lord, a heart that is wayward, oh God, please change us today. Father God, we can't do it without your help. We need you, Lord Jesus. We need your help, oh God. Hallelujah. Lord God, we just bring before you our firstborn sons, oh God. We know that our firstborn sons belong to you as in the Bible. And Father God, we bring them up before you because we know that the devil have a hit out on the firstborn males. In the name of Jesus, oh God. The devil have a hit out on the firstborn males. Father God, we bring them up before you right now. 
God, we bring them up on this time of fasting. God, let it be that your mercy, it was extended to them. Let it be that it was because of your possessiveness of them being for you, oh God. Let it not be because of our prayers. God, let it be because of your love that you have for them, oh God. And we just come, Lord God, to humble ourselves, to say what your will is, to pray what your will is, oh God. Lord God, we lift up our firstborn male children to you, Father God. On this day, oh God, on this day, we commit them to you into your hands, oh God. And we say no to the devil. You cannot have our, our firstborn male children. We commit them unto you, Father. It's illegal for them to be in the hands of Satan. And so we come to get them out of your hands, Satan. We come to say back off and back off of our family. We come to expose every trap to their eyes, every plan to their eyes. We come to free them out of the traps that the enemy has placed before them. And so God, in the name of Jesus, loose the power to free them from the snares of the enemy, our sons, and take them back for your glory, Father God. Take our sons back for your glory, our firstborn males, unto yourself, O Lord. Father God, I give you my firstborn. I give you my firstborn, oh God. Satan, I take LJ back from your hands. Come on, I need you to say it. I take my son back out of your hands. I take LJ back out of your hands. I take LJ out of your hands. Every snare and every lie of the devil, I command it to be dismantled right now. I command that plan and every plot and everything that has him in the grips of the devil. I come out. I come against it. I come against it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You have no right and LJ belongs to the Lord. I take them out of your hands and I place them in the hands of the Lord. Father God, remember this covenant. Remember this agreement. Remember that this is your son in Jesus name. God, I give them back to you. Lord, I never took them back from you. Oh God. And so the devil is operating illegally, oh God, for our children, oh God, but we know and we decree that God is going to have the final say. We decree that our children will be servants of the most high God. We decree and declare that our children will be saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost, walking in their full and divine purpose, oh God. And if you are not here and you don't have nobody that pray that for you and you the firstborn. I want you to declare that over yourself. I will walk in the fulfillment of the things that God has in store for me. Oh Lord. <clears throat> Every young person that is the firstborn male, oh God, we just lift them up before you right now. Every young person that is around us, those that we know, oh God, those that we don't know, oh God, and they the firstborn male in the name of Jesus, we give them to you right now. Oh God, we pray for the young people. Yes, Lord, we pray that you would raise them up in this hour. Lord God, we pray that you would allow the young people to be everything that you want them to be, oh God. Lord God, we come to petition you on behalf of our young people, Lord. Lord God, we petition you on behalf of their heart, that their heart is preserved for you, Lord, that their heart is preserved for you, oh God. Our young people preserve them, God. Lord God, I ask that you will uproot our sons and our daughters out of the snare of the enemy and that they are preserved for the almighty living and true God. Sakata, he kata na 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 masi anda da da masi keta, anda da bahaya na na masi ando kona masaya, Lord. <clears throat> 
I pray for the state of Texas and Louisiana against the, the power of the spirit that is at work in the airways. God, the principalities and the evil demonic powers that is hovering over these states in the name of Jesus. Father God, we break the back of the enemy. We break the assignments of the enemy. Father God, we nullify the plan that they are unleashing right now. And Father, wherever we live in the name of Jesus, those that is on this broadcast. Father God, we touch and agree before the throne of God. Father God, we touch and agree for that state, oh God. Lord, we touch and agree for the state that we are living in, oh God, and even the street that we are living in, oh God. Every evil thing that is being conjured up above our state, oh God. Every evil thing that is going on inside of our state, oh God. Every evil thing that is work at work, every power that be that is at work, oh God. We take authority against the power of the enemy. We take authority against against the power of the enemy that is working in our state, in the school system, in the government, oh God, and even in the United States of America. God, we loose that blood, the blood of Jesus. We loose the blood of Jesus, oh God, in the White House. We loose the blood of Jesus in the school boards, oh God. God, empower those that stand in the school board to defend your name. The empower with those that stand in the pulpit to defend your name and your honor. Empower us to stand and to defend your honor. Lord God, everywhere we go, empower us to be a witness. Empower us, oh God, not to be ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God. It is the power of God unto salvation, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Handa Bashata. Lord, I pray for Mr. Coffee. I pray for Sister Antoinette. And I pray for those that are over there and those that have connected with us on Clubhouse, oh God. That you would strengthen the works of their hands, oh God. That you would give them the power to be everything that you have called them to be, oh God. That you would do for us what you have done for Moses, oh God. Because we know that you are not a respect the person, oh God. God. Lord, I pray that every soul that you have sent to this ministry is rooted in this ministry and not wavering, oh God. And that you, Lord God, Lord God, what is in your heart concerning every individual, that that is what will come to pass for your glory. God, I ask that you will birth out this ministry. I ask that you will develop the people that is in this ministry. God, I pray for the strength of every individual, Father God, that is a part of this ministry. I pray for maturity. I pray for growth. I pray for development by leaps and bounds, oh God. Lord Jesus, I pray that every person will get what they need out of this fast. And God, I'm asking, Lord God, that those that are not spirit filled, that you will allow the power of the spirit of God to be released unto them, that you will show them, oh God, that you are not a man that you should lie, that you are no respect of person. God, I pray that you will pour out the anointing and the spirit of God upon those that do not have it as of yet. And I ask that they will be filled to the overflow that everything that they was taught about it that was a lie we uproot it now and God we ask that their heart is purged that they will be in a posture to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues oh God and Lord God every person that is not baptized in your name Lord Jesus I ask that you would make it away and put a burning desire in our heart oh God to do it the right way. Oh God, that you would make it uh, uh, possible. Father God, that we would be able to be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, we pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you would allow it to be done for each and one of us that have been taught about it wrong. But we believe your word, oh God, and we are your true followers, oh God. Oh Father, God. 
Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Handa basheketa. Hande de de esoko tana na masata. Hande de de esoko na na masi anda da 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 basata. Oh God, have your way, have your way, have your way in this hour. Have your way in this hour. Handa da basata. Handa da de de esoko ta. Hande de de esoko tana na na masata. Handa da do sata na na masata. Lord, we stand with Israel. We stand with Israel and all of the things that is happening. Father God, that you say would happen in this earth. Lord God, we position ourselves in prayer to be in agreement with you and what you say. Oh, Lord Jesus, we stand. Oh, God, we stand in a gap for Israel. God, we stand in the gap for Israel right now. God, we cover them with our prayers. Oh, God, we pray for your angelic assistance to continue to be strong. We pray for the strength of our angels angels, the angels that watch over us. God, we pray for their strength, that they are empowered, oh God, that they are empowered, oh God. Oh, Father God, that we have a supernatural understanding of the spiritual world that is around us, oh God. Lord God, that you would not let us be deceived, oh God. Lord, I pray that our spiritual eyes are open, Father God, in this hour. Lord, let us not be deceived, but our eyes be open. God, let us see what you see. Let us see what you want us to see. Let us see what the Spirit of God want to show us, oh God. So Lord, we pray for the angelic assistance of Israel. God, we pray for your angelic assistance of them right now. God, we pray, God, and we are bringing them up before your throne day and night and night and day, oh God, because you care for Israel. And Father God, you see that the world has Hate them because of you, oh God. And we just covering them wherever they are. And there are some that are not in Israel, God, but we are covering your people wherever they are. Oh God, this evil plan that have come up against them. We are covering them now. Lord God, the evil plans and plots that have come up against them. We are covering them now, oh God. The evil plans and plot that have come up against them. We cover them uh, uh, by the power of the blood of Jesus. Lord God, be with them in this hour. God, be with them in this hour. Lord God, let them know that you are God. Let them know that you love and care for them, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, O God, we pray for salvation. God, we pray for salvation. Lord, we pray that you will reveal yourself to those that are the Israelite people. God, reveal yourself as the Savior, the Lord, the Son of the living God. Reveal yourself through salvation to them. Let the stony walls of their heart be broken down, oh God. Lord God, I ask that you would give us a heart and the burden to pray for those that are lost in the name of Jesus. Lord, the Israelites are your people, but they are lost, oh God, and we are lifting them up, oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, I pray that you would give us a heart as an intercessor. God, give us a heart to be the intercessor that can take up what is in your heart, oh God. Help us, oh God, to take up your prayers and what is in your heart, the lament that is before you, oh God. I pray that we will have a lament in our hearts, oh God. I pray that there is truly a sackcloth and ashes on the inside. I pray that there is a wailing women on the inside of us, your people. Oh, Father God, Lord, I just ask for the development of us as we are on this boot camp, oh God, as we try our very best to press in, oh God. Lord Jesus, meet us halfway. Meet us all the way, oh Lord. We try in our very best to, as we make one step, as we put forth the effort. God, we know that the effort is never enough, oh God, but we are asking you to do what you are wanting to do in this fast 
us, O oh God. We're asking you to do what only you can do, O oh God. Lord, I ask that you would allow us to be matured, O oh God. I ask that you would allow there to be an elevation that we could never go back to the old way of thinking, O oh God. I ask that there is a growth that is a growth that would never, ever cause us to be back on that premature and elementary level again, oh God. Lord Jesus, we need you right now. We need you to teach us. We need you to keep us in this hour. Oh God, there are things that we don't know that is going on around us, oh God. There are things that we do not know how to pray about and for that is going on around us, oh God. But we are asking you in the name of Jesus that you will give us the knowing, oh God, that you will give us the understanding as we fellowship with you. Oh, oh God, I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. As we fellowship with you, Lord. Oh, Father God, have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Oh, God. Have your way. Oh, God. Have your way. Oh, Lord Jesus. Have your way in our midst, oh, God. Have your way in our midst, oh, God. Have your way in our midst, oh, God. Lord, you say when you see the blood, you're going to pass over us, oh God. Lord God, pass over us in this hour. Lord God, have mercy upon us, oh God, in this hour, Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray that we will remain in you, Lord Jesus. I pray that we will not be able to be shaken off of our post, oh God, out of our position that is in you, Lord. Lord God, keep us in this hour. God, don't let us, Lord God, be shaken shaken away from you, Lord Jesus. Lord God, whatever we have to lose in this hour, don't let us, oh God, be shaken out of faith in you, Lord. Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus right now. We plead your blood, Jesus. We identify with you in your death, burial, and resurrection. We identify. We identify with you, Lord. We identify with you, Lord. We can't wait to see you, Lord Jesus. We know that you are soon to return, O oh Lord. Forgive us for all of our shortcomings and failures, O oh Lord. Forgive us, O oh God, for anything that we are doing that is not pleasing unto you, Lord God. Any of our areas of weakness, O oh God, we surrender it and ask ask you to forgive us for any and everything that is not pleasing unto you, Lord. We are looking for your return. We are depending in, your, in you, on you, Lord God, on you, Lord Jesus, for your salvation, for your deliverance, for your help, for your strength. We're depending upon you, Lord. We thank you, Lord God, that we can celebrate that we have salvation. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that we could celebrate the whole that we have of you returning, O oh Lord. Lord God, I pray that you will ignite the joy. I pray that you will ignite the joy that you have given to us. Father God, you have given us a joy that is going to produce strength on the inside of us. So encourage us to, to utilize the joy of the Lord. Lord, encourage us to use the joy and, and walk in it. Oh God, hallelujah. Don't let us be discouraged in this hour. Don't let our heads be bowed down low. Oh God, but give us a song. Give us a dance. Oh God, give us the joy and the excitement of being saved. Oh God, hallelujah. Give us the strength of being saved. Oh God, God, I ask that we will be strong, Lord God, soldiers and good soldiers, oh God. Lord God, we want to be strong in you. We want to have the spirit of Jehu, oh God. Lord God, we want to be like our, our, our Lord and Savior, Jesus, who was strong and courageous, oh Lord. Let the mind that was in you, Christ Jesus, be also in us. We pray that today. We open ourselves up to be able to walk in the same 
mind, the oneness, the one mind, the one accord, oh God. Oh God, every adversary, every word curse, we intercepted on this prayer watch. Any and all plans that was plotted against us on this prayer watch, we intercepted. Father God, everything that is being hurled against the nation and against the United States and even against, most importantly, your people, we intercept it, O oh God. We re- we ask that you will hear the fervent prayers of your people. We intercept the plans. We intercept them by the power of the blood of Jesus. We overturn the plots of the enemy. We overturn the plans of the enemy in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we send back every assignment back to the sender in Jesus' name. We send back and we pray that you will expose those works of darkness. We pray that you will expose those that are workers of darkness. We ask that you will open up the eyes of your people and cause them to have a heart that will side with you instead of the wickedness that is going on in the house of God as you expose it. God, let us take the side of the almighty God. Oh, Father God, open up the eyes of those that are in bondage to idolatry of these leaders that are doing wickedly before your throne. Lord, I just pray against all idolatry in our lives, oh God. Help us, Lord God, to be out of agreement with any form of idolatry that is in our lives, oh God. Lord, anything that we are are obsessed about, we know that it is a spirit behind it that is assigned behind the idol. And so we come out of agreement and ask for your deliverance, oh God. We come out of agreement, God, we say no. And we ask that you would deliver us from the power of the spirit that is behind every idol. Oh God, we take authority over it right now. We break the back of the enemy. We break the back of the enemy. Even the thing that is coming against the young people's minds. God, the enemy is is manipulating the minds of our young people, but we cover our young people's minds in the blood of Jesus. We say no to you speaking to their minds. We say no to the spirit of suicide. We say no to the spirit of mental disorder. We we don't care what the doctor call it in Jesus name. We cast it off in Jesus name. We cast it off in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Lord. We cast it off. We cast it off. We cast it off, oh God. We cast it off, oh God. Lord, we just thank you that our bloodline is yours. We thank you, God, that you have freed us and delivered us from the snare of the enemy. Oh Lord, we say thank you right now. Oh Jesus, we say thank you right now. Father God, as we proceed past this day, We commit this day to you. We pray, God, in this day that all of the beauty that you have already orchestrated for our lives, that this is what comes forth and that we will be able to triumphant over all of the plans of the enemy, but that the power of your will and every blessing and every promise that you have given to us, may we receive it on this day. God, that this day will be glorious. I command this day to line up to the will of God and everything to work in alignment with the will of God. Everything that is out of alignment, every person that is out of alignment, I command you to come into alignment with what is the will of God in this hour, and especially for my life and for this day. God, this day belongs to you. It does not belong to the devil. God, I give it back to you. I thank you for this day, and I pray for your blessings, your bountiful blessings, and your power of your presence will be evident on this day. And before we even know and see it, we thank you. In advance, we give you glory, Lord. We give you glory. Bless your people today. Let your blessings be upon them and make your face to shine upon them. In Jesus' name. Lord, we just thank you for this hour of fasting and the hour of prayer. Lord God, may we forever 
God be in your presence and may we forever take up a lament until Jesus return. We pray this and we give you glory. Hallelujah for your many blessings. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. If you are in agreement with this prayer, guys, please put a one on the screen and uh, we'll see you all in the next broadcast. I will be teaching uh, about the next, uh, I think it's the sixth prayer watch and we will be teaching on that. So if you are on this fast and you have not caught all of the teachings, please catch up. Meet us on Clubhouse under the fueling station and also under my page on Clubhouse under Abigail Price. And uh, yeah, we will continue this fast, continue to pray for me and my family and the team here on the fueling station as we continue to keep you and your family covered. God bless you until we meet again. Bye for now.